taking a look at the, uh, the modeling aspect that is available in Oxymetrics, and this will depend on which version you have installed on your, on your computer. You may only have PCGIF, for example, or you may have all, all uh, programs that are listed here. Uh, but I will take a look now at uh, just some simple models estimated in each of these. So I will not really go into details, there are separate introductions for every module, but just to give you a flavor of the kind of things that you can do. So we have the GARGE module for financial modeling, we have PCGIF for a wide range of econometric modeling, we have STEMP for uh, unobserved component modeling, and X12 ARIMA is the US Census uh, uh, program for season adjustment and ARIMA estimation as well. The magic button now is the button here, or if I go to the model menu, it's the model command that will, will start or give me a choice of which modeling module to use. So here I have them listed again, GARGE, BCGIF, STEMP and x 12 And the way it's organized is we have a category of data which we try to develop a model for. In this case, it's time series data, but there may, you may have uh, panel data, cross-section data. And then inside that, we choose what we want to do. Say we start with a single equation dynamic modeling using PCGIF. If I click on formulate, then I get the uh, model, the formulation dialog. It actually looks a bit like the um, the plotting uh, dialog that we had. We have the variables in the database on the right. From that we make a selection and that is our model. But the default lag length is set to 1. Well, that seems a bit uh, low. Um, but let's just set it to quite a high number. Let's take 8. Not really going to do a series model, just illustrating the facilities of the program. Select inflect Q and now this is the model that I formulated. Y is the dependent variable inflate Q, the constant is added by default, and then we have our eight lags, and you see the convention that we use, underscore, and then a number that is the lag length. Okay, well, you may want to add seasonals as well. It did look very seasonal. Click on OK, and then choose um, a model type, which I select the default, OLS, will not do automatic model selection yet, Click on OK and accept the standard sample. And here we have the model output, coefficients, standard RST values, things like the estimated standard error or sigma, residual sum of squares, and our standard battery of tests um, at the bottom. And the graphical results are now in the model window. And here we see the Actual and fitted, blue are the fitted values, and we see the um, uh, residuals at the bottom. And you see that there's a few large residuals, which uh, are probably the reason that our normality test in particular is, uh, rejects the null of normality. It, there seems to be, uh, in this case, some uh, large outliers. So what we can, can try just to give you, to finish this flavor of PCGIF, is to estimate, estimate it with outlier, with impulse indicator saturation for the outlier.